Hi everybody, welcome to this video. I'm Dean Wolf. This is Prague Dog. We're going to react to Fate's Warning for the first time. Virgin Ears, never heard them before. And if you're not familiar with them as well, just a quick little paragraph, very short, about the band. Fate's Warning is an American progressive metal band formed in Connecticut in 1982. The band is known for its complex and intricate songwriting, as well as its technical musicianship. Of course, prog, right? Throughout its career, Fate's Warning has undergone numerous lineup changes, but has consistently released critically acclaimed albums. The band's early albums helped to define the progressive metal genre, and they have continued to evolve their sound over the years. Fate's Warning has maintained a loyal following throughout their career and remains an influential band in the progressive metal scene. All right, virgin ears, there they are, giggling. <laughs> words there. The whole rhythm is kind of cool. This is a very proggy song. All those classic elements of prog rock.
That's almost Stephen Wilson right there. That reminds me of or Porcupine Tree or something. I actually like the, the snare. It's a good sounding snare. Wow, that is super complex. Like, I wasn't expecting this. I'm surprised. I was expecting something more, I don't know, 80 grungeous, grungier combined with metal kind of feel. Um, Let's see, when, is, when was this track even made? Let me just check here. Uh, it looks like it's from 1989. Wow, that's going back. That's like the end of the 80s, amazing. That's pretty pr progressive. That's very progressive for the end of the 80s. Kurt was the uh, requester for this, by the way. I forgot to mention that in the beginning. Hey Kurt, how you doing? He's a good drummer friend of mine. We were partners in a band called Halogen 5. Halogen.05. Anyway, so I really enjoyed that song a lot. I would say fun. If you're going to pick one word, fun. Uh, the production was great. It really, everything was very there. It sounded like a band playing together in a studio, not a ton of uh, overdubs and overlayering. Is this pre Pro Tools? When did Pro Tools start? This is 1989, so just hearing a band just play, you know, just hearing them play. Very talented, obviously, very, it's a very technical song, but in a very fun way. It was, it was very playful, let's say that. And I think those, it's not a word you often hear when you're thinking of uh, metal or prog metal, playful, but actually it really is, you know, we're, uh, musicians are just, are just kids in a big sandbox, you know, prog rock is a huge sandbox, the rules fly out the window, you don't have rules, there's no, um, I mean the only rule is, is, is it needs to not sound like pop. Or that's that, I think there is that one rule. It's an unwritten rule. Rule, and of course, uh, bands like uh, Genesis sort of were able to just sort of ride that. For me, anyways, they were just able to ride that that fine line where they could still be progressive, but still do pop, and it pleases the pop fans. They grew, grew a large, large audience, and actually, it really brought in I think a lot of people into Prague. I think that's the the side effect that people who are critical of bands who go pop don't realize and they go to their back catalog and they discover prog uh you know as essential prog old genesis so this band had keyboards in it, it wasn't very uh keyboardy band like genesis for example but i'm just kind of comparing because of the time it came out eight late 80s and all that prog was not really welcomed at all it was very much uh fringe but what did you think i'll be curious anyone who's watching this video who are not um, Fate's Warning fans. And if you are a Fate's Warning uh, fan, uh, how does this song relate, rate to you as far as all of their songs? There's uh, other songs that you'd recommend that I listen to. Uh, certainly I will. So anyway, spiraling it. Talk to you later. Bye.